There's no let-up in the Ukrainian government's military offensive in the east of the country. Despite a pledge from the new president, Petro Poroshenko, to broker a ceasefire with pro-autonomy fighters, an entire village has been almost completely razed to the ground. As you can see, we'll show you pictures. There's barely a building left in Semyonovka that's not been damaged, and the streets lie deserted. And the village has been pounded by intense artillery fire. Locals say the army used multiple rocket launchers against them. But as Kiev steps up its operation, self-defense forces are vowing to stand firm, as RT's Paula Slea now reports from one of their training camps. We're with the anti-government fighters. We're on the way to a training camp here in the city of Lugansk. They're not telling us exactly where this camp is because of security reasons. Badman, how much time will it take us to get there? It's secret. It's secret. But we'll know when we get there. Batman was a former officer with the Ukrainian elite police before switching sides. Only a month ago, he commanded a team of just 12 men. Today, they number more than 100 and are growing by the day. All of them volunteers, each with a code name to hide his identity. How is the situation on the ground at the moment? People are very scared. The city's preparing for war. We're evacuating women and children from the city. Batman says the Ukrainian military's tactic is to attack from behind, so he's had his men sprawl out across the city. We're about to approach the camp, and Batman's asked us to switch off the camera. Deep in the forest, it's easy to see why they've set up base here. Everything is camouflaged, making it difficult for the Ukrainian army to find them. We're now at the military training camp and we're off to see them do training with knives. This is training for close combat, but I hope it won't come to that. The Ukrainian army is not planning on close combat fighting. They hit from the air, bombing with heavy artillery like in Slavyansk and Donetsk. The guys here come from just about every background. You have former students, you have former businessmen, you have former drivers, and you also have ex-military and police. So you have people with a lot of military experience, but you also have some for whom this is the first time that they're picking up a knife or a gun. And so the sharing of skills and experience is vital. The guys have told me to put two of these in my ears because there's going to be a hell of a noise. The automatic weapon training is the most important. Batman keeps tight control over his men. Many still have families inside Ukraine and worry constantly about them. It's not becoming a war, it's already a war. Most of the guys are citizens of Lugansk city. They're highly motivated. They're between the ages of 20 and 55. When I asked one of them whether there are enough people here to take on the Ukrainian military, his answer was, there's enough. But how many more need to die before the Kiev government itself declares enough is enough? Paul RT, outside Lugansk, eastern Ukraine. And for more insight on how the self-defense forces are preparing themselves for battle, you can just follow Paula on Twitter. Uh, she's posting regular updates and fresh images straight out of eastern Ukraine.